Hey, how's it going? Uh, just give a quick update uh, on uh, what I'm doing with this. Uh, since I challenged all these uh, Pentax YouTubers to a photo challenge, how I'm doing, and, uh, and I would give an update on, I've got a viewer contest as well. So anything shot between, if you're a viewer for this contest, anything shot between uh, April 2nd and April 16th, uh, I've got some submissions so far, but I'd like quite a bit more. Um, you could uh, see the links below. You could just send a JPEG to my email um, or my Facebook below and just give like a quick uh, explanation of what you shot and where it is and what Pentax body. It doesn't have to be necessarily a Pentax lens, but just what you did and uh, just basic contest. The point of both these contests is just to, motivate people to get out there and shoot uh, a lot of people share images that they shot three or four years ago just get out there and shoot it's a lot of fun i bring my my camera with me every day uh i walk around the neighborhood if i don't walk around the neighborhood i walk in a park park nearby so um just to motivate you and it, and actually I, i'm i've been shooting a little bit more i'm like okay i might not shoot a squirrel or something you know weird or a ge geese like you'll see later but i'm gonna shoot them today just because i want to get a, a really good shot so anyway that's what this is all about um so uh i'm a little nervous those are <laughs> those other youtubers that put out some great shots uh lee avison and uh edward from photo universe he like he had to use like a $60 lens just to like, oh man, <laughs> that had a, a very good shot. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to up my game to, 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 to kind of win in this thing. Uh, but uh, for this, for this contest, I, I'm trying to work it out as it goes along, but uh, I think the submissions are due on the 13th for the YouTubers. Uh, it'll probably uh, whoever all submits, I'll I'll uh, do the video on the 14th, and I'll maybe make a live or a, a something where everybody can chat on it if they want to. Uh, but uh, more to come on that. I'll I'll figure that out, and then the same thing for the viewers. Uh, I think the the submissions are due on the 16th, um, and then I'll I'll do a, a a video within the next three or four days on that, and kind of do a live and. We could chat and, uh, and and if you're submitting something, uh, make sure to say if you want creative criticism. Uh, I won't be an asshole, but I'll just I'll just if there's something that I think that that can make the maybe the photo pop a little bit more or make it a little bit better. Uh, if you like the image, that's fine. I'll, I'll just might give like a small little criticism to make, uh, which I think would make it look better. But if you think it looks fantastic the way it is, that's fine. Uh, so if you want CC creative uh, criticism, just put CC okay when you uh, submit your photo. Uh, let's see here. So let, yeah, let's go into what I've shot in the last uh, eight days. So like I said, I bring my camera with me everywhere. So uh, let me share my screen here. Let me see. Hopefully this works. I'm, I'm on Zoom right here. So okay. I did this before and it didn't it didn't go to the next photo. So I was sitting here talking. So Ooh. all right. So uh this is the first image I shot. It was like the next day. Um I just like I I'd walk by these blue heron all the time. I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time here, try to get a shot. At least I have a shot in the bag that I could uh I could kind of use. And then over the next two weeks, if I get something better, I could just keep on going with it. But this was my first shot. Uh, I shot several pictures of this uh, the, this bird trying to fish, and he was he really sucked at it. He didn't catch anything, and it was just like a little small pond. It was like, yeah, it was just small because uh, the water's down. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll like right here. I don't know if you can see down below here his feet, and it's got this the mud drippings off of him. Kind of cool, but. Uh, uh, I edited. The, I did edit this one a little bit, uh, cropped in a little bit, but uh, he was fairly close. This uh, was with the fifty-five to three hundred. Actually, all these shots you're going to see are with the fifty-five to three hundred and the K three Mark three. So, um, same thing here. 
I was trying to find some snakes, snake photography, and uh, this little uh, little skink was coming out of the sidewalk, trying to warm up in the sun. Um, and uh, there was no snakes out, but but he, I mean he's a fat guy. And look, th this is unedited, so you can you can kind of tell the K three Mark three on or uh, and the, the I mean the fifty five to three hundred PLM how sharp it is. And there's another one, so I, I might do a little editing on those if I'm going to submit those. But I, uh, uh, there's a better shot in here. Uh, this this is everything I shot in the last two weeks. So you've got some. Uh, I'm not going to submit that, but kind of cool. Just some turtles relaxing, some vultures. Uh, and this I edited, but I'm not going to submit it. It's just just because the 55 300 isn't like long enough to get these uh, os osprey. Um, they're building a nest close to where I walk. And I just, uh, I love that user mode. I just switch it in. I, I set one up totally just for birds in flight and I just switch it to it. And just boom, you know, I could I could just nail. And the the this one was edited, but you'll see some other ones in here. And the Pentax uh, K3 Mark III just nailed some of these shots. As far as the ones that are closer in, those are edited, but you could just see where it kind of nailed those shots. And this is uh, a vulture, of course. And these are some eBay shots. And it's funny. I, I I shot these this all these neck shots are shot from today, and uh, actually I think I like this the best out of any of my shots so far. It's just geese. I mean, but I just like it so much. I mean, this is unedited, but I mean, just like it's like yin and yang, or I don't know what what it is. But this I love this shot right here. Uh, it's really good and and you know with the pentax k3 it's like i do i, I don't even need to edit this do i or do i well, let me know below if you think i need some editing on this but i think it looks good the way it is i love i love when you get stuff straight out of camera that you really enjoy and i think this is one of them for me at least um you know, some more images of geese and ducks uh, this is from my garden pond, so this makes it easy. I, I hadn't edited any of these. They were all from today, so makes it easy when you have wildlife in, in Tennessee right here, and so we got this. Uh, but I, I still don't think any of these images are as good <laughs> as uh, the other YouTubers that that put stuff out recently, so I'm going to have to up my game. So I'm, I'm, I've got all these different ideas going, floating around in my head. Um, I, I, I did shoot some pictures of a, some ducks years ago, and it was like an awesome picture. And I shot it with this Sigma uh, Art Series 35 f 1.4 on a full frame. I'm, I'm not sure if that was years and years ago, so I'm not sure if it was the K1 or a Canon, but I just shot it at F4. I was shooting at F, or not F4, F1.4. And it just, it, it had that shallow depth of field and just looked really cool on full frame. But uh, so I don't know if that's going to be the secret, but uh, I'm going to bring this sucker out since all those other shots were on the K3 Mark III. So this weekend, I'll probably go to the mountains and try to get a, 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 a decent landscape. The weather's not supposed to be that great, but I'm not worried about that. Um, so I'm gonna bring the K1 to and uh, the 24 F2 star lens or whatever, uh, and try that out. Maybe get a mountain stream. Try that out. Or gosh, since since Ed used like a vintage lens, I might bring, bring like a lens that's under 50 bucks. That may be a good challenge. Um, this 50 millimeter uh, Pentax dash A F1.7 bring that as well and try to get a couple shots with that but the main thing is man is just to, just to get out there and shoot have fun with it and if all else fails you can always take some great pictures with a macro lens so uh god why are you guys kicking my ass so much i need to go out there and shoot i'm like ah uh, anyway um thanks for watching uh go watch uh all the other videos that have already been made and, uh, you know, come back on 
April 14th, I'll probably do a video. It might be a live. It might be uh, just a video I made and I'll try to have a live chat on there. Uh, I'll announce that later. And uh, uh, maybe some of the other YouTubers can get on there and uh, chat as well. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, and then for the other one, the April 16th viewer challenge. Um, yeah, go ahead and submit if you hadn't. I know a lot of people uh, said they were going to put make some videos and whatnot. So make sure to, uh, if you submit them to me, put the a video link or whatever so I could share that out and uh, give you some support as well. Or if you, you, you put it on Instagram or you got another social media thing that you uh, want people to be shared to, uh, leave that there too, and I'll share that out as well. Uh, I'm all about supporting other Pentaxians. It'll be it be fun. Um, I guess that's about it. But uh, wish me luck because I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Those other uh, other images that I've seen already. Kobe had that that snow owl. I'm pretty sure he's going to submit that uh, shot that he put on social media. Uh, uh, outstanding shot. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the actual end of the competition. Thank you.